Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about why I think Manjaro is really climbing the ratings lately and becoming, well, according to Digital Watch's page hit ranking anyway, the number three um, outgoing popularity uh, Linux distribution. So uh, if you don't already know, Manjaro is Arch Linux based. You can see Arch down here currently at number 13, and I think the reason that Arch is so much lower is just because historically Arch has been a little bit trickier to install. Um, I do recall there being a, a, a script you can use to install Arch relatively easily, but it's always kind of been done through the command line, kind of making it like the elite Linux in a way. Um, at least that's kind of always how I felt about it. But then Manjaro basically takes Arch, builds upon its very lightweight um, system and application lineup and then makes it easy to install so you have the same kind of installer where it's a graphical user interface uh, very similar to like uh, Ubuntu or Linux Mint or kind of that GUI that you kind of just expect nowadays and I've always kind of used with uh, Windows operating systems so the fact that you can basically have Arch but so much easier to install that's that's a pretty big thing there um, in addition, uh, because it's built on Arch, you have the Pac-Man user repository, uh, I mean, uh, application repository, uh, whatever we want to call it, package manager, I'm sorry, um, which is neat. Um, I mean, it's not really that wildly different than something like apt-get, which you would use on Ubuntu. I do feel like it's a little easy to type in Pac-Man. Um, and for the most part, you can install applications and remove them in much the same way as those two systems. But uh, on uh, Manjaro and Arch, it's really easy to go out and install this tool called Yaourt, which uh, directly accesses the Arch user repository. I think that's what it stands for, the AUR, um, which uh, community members have basically submitted all of these little build scripts for downloading and installing many of the applications that the core OS would miss. So for instance, um, I think they have stuff like Chromium, uh, like Spotify, uh, and possibly things like NVIDIA beta drivers. I think those are some of the things I may have installed with it. But it, it's really cool, because if you have Pac-Man, you can install most stuff, but with Pac-Man plus Yaourt, um, probably 98, 99% of the applications you'd want to install in Linux, you can just do bam right there with those two tools. Um, and as far as I know, Yower is only specific to Arch systems. So you have that in Manjaro along with the easy install. And then, um, and this is kind of one of the things that swings it over for me personally, but I've always liked um, Manjaro themes, uh, basically black, um, Windows, that's kind of my preference. I like to use Visual Studio with a dark uh, theme going on there. Um, the built-in applications, Thunderbird, Mozilla, well, Mozilla Thunderbird, Mozilla Firefox. Those are actually two of my favorites. Um, and not really that wildly different than basically all the good uh, Linux operating systems out there. Um, but it also would have LibreOffice built-in. That's, that's pretty standard, though. Um, and I do find that most things kind of tend to work out of the box. I know that when you're installing Manjaro, you have the choice between using the, uh, basically the proprietary uh, NVIDIA drivers, or AMD, I guess, or you can use uh, the free, I, I think it's open source drivers, Novu. Um, so if you want the NVIDIA drivers, you can have them right there out of the box. Oh yeah, speaking of that, there's a tool called, um, uh, shoot, NHWD, I think. Yeah, Manjaro Hardware Drivers or something like that. Okay, hold on, let me try to open it up here. Okay, I, I am uh, using Oracle VirtualBox. That's why things are running slow. Uh, Manjaro as non-virtualized actually works pretty fast. Um, so let's see here, MHWD, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. So you can see the drivers there, and it's relatively easy to install and switch between drivers uh, when you're actually using the tool. Um, I think it's something like install 0300, non-free, something like that anyway. 
and you can pop in the NVIDIA drivers pretty easily out of the box. Um, alternatively, I think you can build it in Yaur as well. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to switch drivers. Um, so let's see. I, I guess in conclusion, um, it's got a pretty lightweight app uh, package here. So you're not going to get cluttered with too much stuff. It, Linux usually isn't. Steam is nice to have. I mean, especially if you're a gamer type. And I, I think most Linux people are going to be. Uh, GIMP, that's really sweet. I, I use that a lot. Um, and some other cool tools. But it doesn't go overboard. And pretty much everything that's built in is uh, kind of critical and nice to have. Then you have Pac-Man and Yaur to basically build just about everything you want. You have really clean interfaces. I originally used uh, the open box version of Manjaro, which I liked because you could just right click and you'd have all of these. You could basically launch anything from a right click drop down menu. Um, I think this is running XFCE right now, but uh, Manjaro also supports, uh, let me think about that, KC KCD, is that what it's called? KCE maybe? Uh, GNOME. I know there's a GNOME for it variant. Um, and a couple other really popular ones. So yeah, it all just comes to uh, comes together as a pretty clean package. It's like if you like the idea of Arch, where it's lightweight. Oh, rolling distributions. That's another big one I forgot about. Sorry guys. Um, basically, whenever there's updates, it'll let you know down here with a little notification. Oh, your core needs to be updated. You don't have to reinstall Linux ever. You can just update to the latest version. Um, it basically takes care of everything through Pac-Man. That's, that's really cool, and that's one of the reasons you would use Arch as well. But yeah, it, it's built on Arch, so it's lightweight as the rolling distribution. It has a really clean UI. Um, it has Pac-Man and Yower. Well, that's part of Arch. Um, and a graphical user interface to make it easy to install. And most of the applications, and, and this is personal preference, of course, but most of the applications that you have out of the box are ones that I would use anyway. So I do find Manjaro to be a really cool um, variant of Linux and is currently my number one favorite. So uh, I know I beat around the bush a little bit, but hopefully this has given you kind of an idea of why the heck, you know, Manjaro is actually climbing the rankings so fast. And I think it's just, you know, people are realizing it's a good version of Linux. Um, I mean, I've been using it off and on for a couple years now, uh, before it became this popular. So, yeah, I, I can see why it's became pretty popular. Or at least I hope I can. So, uh, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, kind of a review slash giving you some information, and I hope it's been useful. So, I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my future video Linux content.